next 24 hours, we are staying in the grain bin. What's the grain bin, you ask? Well, it literally was on a farm and stored grain for years. They deconstructed it and built it during COVID for two and a half years. They had people working to rebuild this grain room into a honeymoon suite at a wedding venue. Let's check it out. How perfect is this spot to have a little coffee or tea? There's a little kitchenette over here. I just love this beautiful sink. Check out the floor. This was reclaimed from a barn in this town of Prospect. So cute. Check out this massive shower with natural lighting. So we all know the most important part of a honeymoon suite is the bed. I better test it out, right? Ooh, cushy! And the barn wedding venue is right there out the window. How beautiful! is this TV stand. It was definitely an old toolbox that they refurbished and lots of stuff in here is refurbished, reused, which we love. As silly as it might sound, with all the places we've stayed, we've realized the importance of having a light that you can reach from bed. No fighting tonight over who turns the lights out. Woo! Can we talk about how adorable this bathroom is? It's both country and modern adorable. Look at this cow. <laughs> how amazing is this railing? It is wood. So that means they had to wet it and stretch it and bend it to come around this bend like this to fit perfectly. So I'm in love with this wooden artwork. Can you even imagine the Jenga they had to play to make this work out? I can just hear them now. Oh, not that one, this one, that one. So we started with the epic grain bin and now we're gonna head over to the airplane hangar. Come on, let's check it out. breakfast here after the wedding morning, little groggy, and grandma's over here cooking up a storm. <laughs> on this floor. How cute is bedroom number one? I'm calling it the dream bedroom. Welcome to bedroom number two. And bedroom number three is clearly the master.
Moving downstairs, you'll see it's a little bit more of a bachelor pad. I personally think it would be an awesome place for guys to get ready before the wedding. Believe it or not, we're gonna head to the part where I think people have the most fun in this place. How fun is this though? And you can even watch the big screen movie projector while you're here. Let me clock out of my bartender job real quick. Hold on. We have this lounge area that is actually more comfy than it looks, believe it or not, with the cozy woozy pillows and blankets. I'm obsessed with pillows and blankets. Over here, there's a Murphy bed, so you could actually put it up if you needed more room during the day. Or, oh, this might be the most cozy bed in here. Get out of town. I just want to take note of the floor. It might be my favorite artwork in the whole place. I mean, it reminds me of spinning. Looks like I'm solids. And there's a bathroom down here with plenty of space. There's one thing I think we forgot to tell you. So in the description here, it tells us that there is a grass airplane landing strip outside. And they say if you're lucky, you might hear an airplane quietly landing. There's a local college that uses it with their instructors when they're learning. How cool would that be? What's so unique about this place is that it's an actual airplane hangar where they used to restore and keep airplanes in this very space. So there's three ways to rent this place out. You can do it through their website, through Airbnb, or through Home Exchange. We did Home Exchange. We actually often stay with Home Exchange. Um, you can either, like it sounds like, exchange houses with each other, or you can use guest points, which we've done every single time. Say you don't want to go to Africa, someone from Africa is coming to your house, you get points for it, and you can go to, say, Belize. You can go wherever you want using those points. We'll have a link to their website, to the Airbnb link, and to Home Exchange in the description. And if you get started on Home Exchange, we'd love for you to use our code so we can get a few points while we're at it.